What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be showing you how to set up none other than Gecko Science R606. I know I mentioned this before a couple of times, but they're finally in and we get to finally do a video on them guys. So where I get my stuff is 419 Mining. So we're gonna go to show you just a couple of things about the miner and then we'll get into how to. The reason I'm on their website because they have a great description in here. Unlike the new packs that we did, they hold two chips per USB or per new pack. This one holds 12 chips in this little box here. They're from S9 Miners and you can adjust it from 390 to 460 millivolts. So this is what it looks like. I'll show you what these red dots mean just in a second. And of course, you can adjust this from V-Core from 390 to 460 and you can do the boost. I haven't messed with this yet. I just want to show you guys a simple way of setting it up and how I like leaving mine on. So besides the chips and millivolts and how much you can do, well, let's show a couple of things that we will need with this box to properly run it. First thing that we're going to need is a USB cable. So the one that you're going to need, I don't know what you guys call it, but I call it a Android charger. And of course, you're going to need one that plugs right into your computer. So why are we going to need this, this is going to plug in here where it says USB. This part is going to plug in right into your computer. Second thing we're going to need is a power source. So this power source it is required to be at least a 12 volt 8A. So if I zoom in a little bit for you guys, you can see that this one is a DC 12 volt and an 8A. So we're going to need that as well. So what do we do with this? Basically, it's same as you plug it into your computer. It's going to go right here where it says 8A, and that's our power source where it's going to come up. But, however, this has two different power sources. We can do the 8A, or we can do a 6-pin. I don't do a 6-pin because I don't like this right next to my computer. I like to put somewhere in its own spot just because it does make a little bit of noise. Not much, though, but it does make a little bit of noise. But if you want it right next to your computer, you can use a 6-pin that goes right in here and goes straight into your computer. Now, what are we going to need to run this, guys? Well, let's get into the computer to show you. So besides the box, we would need to go to Bitcoin Talk, where we can download the CG 4.11.1 program. Make sure it ends with 7Z or just download it from here. Download and extract it. So once it's extracted, we're also going to need a pool. So you guys know that I, I went to Digibyte or DGB256.online. I choose the West, USA West, which is usa-west.dgb256.online. And this is going to be our port. So you're going to be running it just like this on the bottom. And the last thing we're going to need is the driver for it. So we're going to go ahead and download the Zotic 2.5. The latest version is 2023-28. So let's get into the program and start doing everything to set it up. So after your folder is extracted, this is what it's going to look like. Double click on it. Go ahead on any of these window batch ones. Right click and edit. This right here is where we're going to put our new pool. If you guys are new to the channel, any of these USB miners besides the moon landers, I run Digibyte on just to show you guys how it works. I already made a notepad file with everything we're going to need, but I just showed you guys and I will have all the links down there below. As well, you guys are going to need the Digibyte address for this. Now, I didn't mess with anything. I like to let these machines run at what they're meant for. If you want to boost them, you can go ahead and read through all the Bitcoin talk threads. So besides the pool and the address, this is all we need to do. So go ahead and close it and save. And then we're going to open the Zadig. So with Zadig, we're going to have to do list all devices. And now we're going to have to plug in our miner. So let's do that to show you guys how. So I will turn the camera on for you so you guys can see. So we're going to do the power source first. And you guys can hear it turning on. I hope you do. It should be in the mic a little bit. I will be moving it quickly. So this end is going to go into your computer. And this end will go into the R606. So once that's plugged in, we should be able to see, there it is, come back, where'd you go? R606, install the driver. Now the only thing I want to show you guys while that's installing, this is what we saw on the 419 mining, the three red lights, when it's three red lights is running at 460. If you click down, you can see it went down, and it will show you what the light means. So let me pop it to 419 mining website one more time. So if you look at right here, so the, when it's three of them, it is 460. When it's two like this, it means it's at 450. One more time, you can see now it's at 440. 
I have it kept at 460 on my test one that I did. It's running about 460 millivolts and it's doing about 740, 750 giga hash on Digibyte. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the miner out of the way now, guys. I don't know if you guys still hear it, but I have it about two or three feet away from me and it's not that loud at all. So now that the driver is installed, I wanna show you this, guys. This is my first time installing it on this computer. I ran on a different computer. So I want to show you guys if you run into any problems. Now, if you ever ran new pack or two packs or compacts, it's going to already show for R606 that the driver is installed. It took me hours to figure it out. If this is your first time plugging in the R606, go ahead and hit the reinstall driver if it says that you, you already have it on there. That way you don't sit here for hours trying to figure out what happened. That's what happened to me. I couldn't figure out how to run it. But now that it's installed, we're going to go ahead and close it. And I believe this is the one that we edited already. Yes, it is. Go ahead and double click it. Now that it's open, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to take it a little bit while to go up to the megahertz that it's supposed to be at and everything else. But it should equal out just around 740 giga hash. Now that it's at that 550 megahertz, as you guys can see right up here, it's slowly going up with everything else, but you can see we're already in the 740s about giga hash, and it's going slowly up to equal that. So guys, those are the steps, really simple steps to get this set up. I'm not going into overclocking or any other that. I will let you guys do that at your own risk. But this is how we set up the Terminus R606 from Gecko Science. Now, as far as profits go, I did not get that far. I know I'm getting about 2.5 to 3 digibyte per day mining at about averaging 740 giga hash now if you guys would like to see a profit video please leave a comment down below hit the like button i will try to do that for you but like i said about two and a half to three digibyte which is about five to six cents a day as far as what i'm seeing for power at this i'm running at 460 that's the max on the box that showed you guys how to change it it is running at about 100 to 112 watts so you guys can do that put in a calculation and see if it is worth it to you or not if i go quickly back to 419 mining this is what i'm talking about i'm running it at 460 then these all different lights mean that it's running on a different core voltage so you guys can go ahead and play with that i think on stock 390 it should be running about 540 f 460 for me it's running at 740 so i'm gonna go ahead and save all these for you guys down below the 419 the, the bitcoin talk digibyte online and zodic where you guys are able to get the driver for this as i already said guys if you have any questions or comments leave them below hit the like button subscribe as always guys have a wonderful day